nestled off an unassuming road in the town of Boston. A fluorescent orange puzzle piece leads to this bright green shed with simple instructions on its magenta door. I thought I would just try to make it as friendly as possible. Can you believe it was a chicken coop? It is certainly hard to believe. I just realized Ron Degenfelder's puzzle barn started back in April. We were using this for storage, but then I had so many puzzles and what do you do with the puzzles? So then I got this crazy idea. His inspiration was a mix of blockbuster and vegetable yeah. stands. <laughs> funny. He still cannot believe people have picked up on his idea. Um, for just two dollars, you can rent a one thousand plus puzzle piece, and it's only a dollar for puzzles under a thousand yeah, pieces. Yeah. There's no set return date, late fees, just an honor system that you'll return them and pay, and an invitation to say hello. I sometimes come out just to give them the five second tour. Be prepared for a wonderful conversation extending well beyond puzzles and a good laugh. <laughs> if you have more time, Dejan Felder will give you tips on the best yeah. jigsaws to get your hands oh, no. on. Oh, and this is a good one too. This avid puzzler takes pride in his former chicken coop. He places puzzles in plastic bags to ensure he doesn't live a puzzler's worst nightmare. I cannot place, put my hands on the the puzzle that that piece goes that to. Again, <laughs> Degenfelder has picked up quite the following over on his Facebook page, even catching the attention of out of state folks like Melissa Trunick. We started planning a business trip to upstate New York, and in trying to find the business details, I stumbled across this article of what's fun in upstate New York. And, and per usual, like, Trunick oh, has a connection to the Buffalo area, even though she lives in Washington state. In high school, she spent some time in Attica as an exchange student. And I said, okay, that's it. We're adding another day to the trip. She came bearing gifts, too. A suitcase full of puzzles to donate. And told her husband to get out the camera. And take photos, because wouldn't this be neat to have at our house? That project hasn't started yet, but... I have a big cardboard box in my garage that I'm filling up with puzzles that as soon as... It's ready to go. It'll be shipped. You know, these have been all Needless to say, friendships have been built during a time of social distancing and old loves have been restored. This joke that I'm going to franchise this. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone in the North Towns to um, pick this idea up. So if you have a vacant chicken coop or an unused shed, you know who to call for blueprints.